Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn step by step from scratch how can we download and set up Eclipse on Windows and Mac operating system. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. Step number one is we will go to the Eclipse download website and we will download Eclipse from there. Now here we have two options. We can either download the installer and run the installer and get Eclipse installed on our systems or we can just download the zip folder and then unzip and keep at any location on our system and from there we can start Eclipse. So let's see both the options. I will go to my browser and search for Eclipse download or Eclipse IDE download and this will take me to this eclipse.org forward slash downloads. Now here if you want to get the installer you can just click on the download button. So if I scroll down, you can see here is the latest Eclipse. Uh, we are in 2023, but it is still the December 2022 version as of now. So you can get whatever is the latest. If you click on download here. And I have clicked on download and it takes me to this page. And here again, we have this option download or you can click on this link. I'll just click on this download button and you can see it has started downloading the Eclipse installer. And once this is downloaded, you can go to the folder where it is downloaded and you can just double click and start the installer. So let's see the options we get. It is starting the Eclipse installer. And here, So let's wait for the next window. And yes, we have got this Eclipse installer. And here we have some options. You can select any one of these. Generally, Eclipse IDE for Java developer will work. It can be used for Java development, automation framework creation. So I will select this. And now here uh, we have the Java virtual machine. So it will also set up the Java, latest Java virtual machine on your system. And here is the installation folder. So you can click here and you can decide where do you want to keep your uh, Eclipse. So I have created a folder called Eclipse 2023 and it is an empty folder. You can see you can create a new folder or keep it at any location on your system. So this is what I will here. I will install Eclipse. So I will say select folder and I will click on install. And this will take uh, some time and then complete the installation process. And once you see installation completed successfully, you can either click on launch from here or you will also see a, a desktop shortcut created on your system. And uh, you can also find it in the folder where we have installed. So if I go to this folder, you can see this Eclipse folder has come here. And inside this, we have the eclipse.exe file. You can double click here and start Eclipse. In case you are on Mac, uh, this will go to your applications folder. So if you are on Mac, you can just go to your applications folder and you will see Eclipse here. Okay, so as of now, I have not installed here, but if you have installed on Mac, you will see it here. And then uh, I'll just click here, launch, and it will start Eclipse. So let's see what all options we get here. So here, the first thing you will see is giving a workspace location. So workspace is a folder on your system where all your Eclipse projects will go by default. If you want, you can change it later, but by default, they will go in this uh, location wherever you select. So if you want, you can change this from here. I'll just click on launch. And this should bring up the Eclipse window. And yes, we have got the Eclipse window here. And here are a few links, some tutorials and links here. You can check this or just click on this hide button. This will take us to our Eclipse workspace. And now here we can start working with Eclipse. Okay. Now, uh, if you want, you can add some, add some plugins or extensions as per your projects, as per your needs. So for example, I will show you if you go to help and go to install new software, you can give the link of your software and you can install it from here. The other way is, the other option is you can again go to help and here we have Eclipse Marketplace and here you can see all the extensions and plugins. You can search for it. For example, if I want to do any uh, Python development, 
I will search for Python and here you can see I have got this PyDev plugin that can be used to do Python development in Eclipse. Otherwise, if I want to create some Cucumber framework or Cucumber BDD project, I will search for the Cucumber plugin and I can find it here. Let me see. Uh, it is Cucumber. And then you can again install it from here and then restart Eclipse and it will get installed. Also, you can see here is a button that says open perspective. So whatever projects you are working on, uh, you can select from here, for example, for by default, it is Java. If you install a Python plugin and want to work in Python, you will see PyDev perspective here. You can see Git and so on. So this is how we can work with Eclipse. Now, before I go to the next step, let me also show you the other way of downloading Eclipse or setting up Eclipse. I'll go back. I'll go back to the downloads page. Okay, now here on the download page, if you see here, we have got this link download packages. This is the same page from where we clicked on this button. Instead of clicking here, we will click on this download packages. And if you scroll down, you will see here, we have all those options. So we will select Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And now from here, you can see Again, I will click on this uh, operating system. You can select your operating system from here and click here. And now here you can see we have got this zip folder. If you click here, it will again download the installer or you can get the zip folder from here. So if I, if I click here, you can see it is getting the zip folder. And once it is downloaded, we will unzip and you can keep it at any location on your system. So let it complete. And yes, this is done. If I go to this folder, you can see it has come here. It is still not completely downloaded. So let's wait. And once it is downloaded, we can then unzip it and then keep it at any location. And uh, this folder will again contain the same contents as we have seen in the Eclipse folder that we have got after installation and then you will have a eclipse.exe file there and from there you can again start eclipse so it's taking some time but you can try this it will be the same it will have the eclipse.exe file as we have seen here this one and this can be used to start eclipse okay so here and the rest of the steps will be the same for starting eclipse and all that you can do on Eclipse. Now, let's say if I want to uh, create a project, so we have seen all this. Let's create a Hello World project and a Hello World program. So I will, I can click here, create a Java program, or I can go to File and say New and say Java project. And let me call it as Hello World project. You can name it anything. And here it will by default go to this workspace folder and there will be a new folder, hello world project one created there. In case you want to change it, you can click on this checkbox and then you can select the location from here. As of now, I will use the default location. And then you can also select the Java runtime and Java from here and then click on next or finish. And here, this is our project, it has come here. And from here, this is the SRC folder. Here we can create a new class or uh, let me just go right click here and say new. And we have got a class here and I will call it as hello world. And you can see it creates a new class here. If you want to increase the font, you can press control plus on your keyboard. If you're on Mac, you can press command plus on your keyboard. Okay. And you can also go to windows and you will see uh, preferences here. You can see all this general, then we have editors and then we have text editors. And here you can see all these options, colors and fonts, and you can go to edit and select the colors and fonts. 
So let's say I want to change it. I will use this one and say, okay. And I'll say apply and close. And you can see it will change the fonts and uh, whatever you select size, fonts, everything from here. Okay. Now here you can see there is a red colored cross mark. It says much declarer named package because this compilation unit is associated to the named module hello world project one. So it is asking us to create a package and keep the class inside a package. So I'll just go to my SRC folder, do a right click. And first I will create a new package. You can give it any name. I will say test and I will say finish. And then I will just drag and drop my class inside this package. And yes, you can see it already automatically takes the package name and it is our class. Now in a Java program, the first thing we do or the first entry of a Java program is the main method. So I will create a main method. You can say main and press control space bar on your keyboard. It will give you a auto suggestion box. You can select the main method from here. It will auto complete. And then to uh, print something on the console, we use the command system.out.println. And if you have to auto generate it, you can say S Y S O and then press control space bar on your keyboard. It will auto complete. And here within double quotes, I will give whatever I want to print. I will say, hello world and save it. You can press control S or save from here, from the menu toolbar here. And to run it, I will do a right click. And here we have got an option run as and we have Java application. So select this and you can see it has executed and we have got the output in the console. So this is how you can use Eclipse. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section. I see all my comments and then I will reply to you. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.